Yo, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, Horcrux here and welcome to the channel. So in today's video, I'll be showcasing you the Korea meta PvP build for the Sorceress. Now, this is subject to change since this is America and Europe, so take everything I say with a grain of salt. Now, this is pretty much copy pasta, okay, but I'm going to explain the build in depth and how it functions and what you should be looking out for, the pros and cons, and hopes of making you a little bit better on the Sorceress class in PvP. Now, I've scoured the internet lots and lots of hours to get all this information and hopefully it helps guys so without further ado fellas let's get into it okay so before i start going into the build it's important to understand the role of the sorceress you may be a newer player you may be an average player you may be an absolute veteran watching this video i do not know but the sorceress role is a range enabler and no i'm not talking about a dude living in his mom's basement and his mom saying hey go get some cigarettes for me enabling that way so what i mean is you are able to set up kills for yourself or your team you do not have a lot of ongoing damage unless you're allowed to completely free cast which should not happen with a sorceress if someone knows what they're doing they're going to target you at all costs but what you're really good at doing is able to catch out of position opponents with very low committal spells so you do have a few spells in the kit which we will go over which allows you to safely from range stun opponents and then at that time you and also your team can just jump whoever is perma stun and just burst them from 100 to zero some of the downsides of the sorcerers is that you do not have any super armor you can get interrupted very very easily anyone knows what they're doing or are going to interrupt all of your cast animations you do have some pretty lengthy ones like the electric vortex here it does take like two thirds of a second to fully get this animation off. It's very telegraphed and is easily interrupted. So with that being said, your positioning is absolute key. You need to absolutely abuse your field of view. That is where the sorcerers excels is being able to catch people off guard out of their field of view just so they cannot react to what you're doing. So let's kind of take a look at the build here. Now this is pretty much copy pasta from the quote unquote meta Korean sorcerers PVP build, which I'll also leave a link to down in the description below it is in korean so you might need your google translate for that or uh, you can just follow along. it has pictures all you need to know is uh, really the pictures so you have two catching abilities in the game which is what i'm going to go over now so you have an ability called lightning vortex so it creates a spherical point point click it's very very hard to miss this is point click and what it does is it electrocutes or has a chance to electrocute whoever you're targeting the electrocute is a two second cc this allows you to get off a super huge burst combo so just for the sake of the video you'll line up your ice ball you'll line up your esoteric reaction into your raffle strike so we'll do it very quickly but yeah we'll go over the rest of the abilities before we get into some of the combos um they're very basic combos it's nothing you need to really delve into um you're, you're not necessarily an opportunist you're able to set up opportunities for your team so um we'll just kind of go through this in order instead so we're gonna go over with a uh, frost call so the typical build you want for this is a two three one no excuse me uh, the typical build you want for this is three two one uh, this allows you instead of a holding ability this becomes a point click ability so what this allows you to do this is one of your catch abilities so if you cast it to the side of your enemy here he actually pulls them in and stuns them briefly this allows you to set up combos such as your raffle strikes and your esoteric reaction and really whatever to kind of set up for your team so um, that is the first ability uh, this is again your your one of your catch abilities now punishing strike excuse me i thought it was called raffle strikes is your big damage skill this kind of your execute this is what hits really really hard so on, on this one you'll run a one you run a two one one uh, having unavoidable fate turns this into a line ability i'll kind of show you here instead of the normal uh the spell that normally is the, the lightning but you have to be really careful when you set it up with a your esoteric reaction which we'll go over in a second because when you set this up in the combo and then you try to use your uh raffle strikes or whatever it's called you can actually miss so you saw right there just knock the dummy out of the way so that is something you need to keep in mind when lining up some of your combos again we've already went over lightning vortex which is essentially your bread and butter so you need to generate your bar down here this is called your arcane your normal states so typically on a sorcerer on this build you would not be using your z whatsoever you're going to be using your x for escapism because your positioning is absolutely everything if you use your z this reduces the cast time of everything well you're not using any abilities within cast time so that really doesn't make any sense to use so essentially you want to use your bar for escapes 
uh, for the most part, okay? Instead of having you to use your dash and it going on cooldown and such. Now let's go over probably one of my favorite, one of the most hard hitting spells is actually an esoteric reaction. So you want uh, three, one, one on this one. So what stabilized crystal does, instead of it's having three levels of build up and then explodes, this explodes all in one step, but it does reduce the damage a little bit. So um, it's not the end of the world, but this is your big wombo combo. Typically you want to use your vortex and your esoteric reaction into your uh, raffle strike or whatever it's called. And that is your main combo now there are other combos you can use uh, inferno to knock people up and then while they're up in the air for example you use reverse gravity you can actually cast your flame ability to keep them staggered up in the air with the solid cc but uh, we'll go and go over the rest of the abilities so these top four here are your main catch slash burst combo abilities now the ones down here on the bottom are more defensive in nature so we'll go over squall now uh, let me find it here so squall you want to go a uh, 332 so this is the only hard cc you have um, if you see certain ultimates uh, being cast it's very important for you to rub them uh to interrupt them excuse me um it just really depends on whether you know the class and know what to look for and know what the visual cues are this just comes with practice when you need to use this this is also helpful for getting the ape boys off of you if you're able to land it but the trick is with this ability is that it is a cone effect so the closer you are to your opponent it can actually miss okay that would hit uh, pretty easily but um the further you are away the bigger the cone is the more likelihood that it's actually going to connect the particle effects is very misleading um it actually is not as wide as you think it is especially close range actually here right there is really surprising but uh It'll take a little bit of practice. It is kind of hard to land sometimes, especially when you have someone dodging in and out of you. So um, that's more of a last resort or a counterplay when you see an ult uh, incoming as well. So next we have uh, Seraph Hell. You'll want to run 2-3-2 two, two for this one. The reason this is so freaking amazing, this is probably one of my favorite skills in the Sorcerer's Kit, um, to be honest. So we're getting someone to Scarecrow. This is both offensive and defensive in nature. If you see a melee or whoever's wanting to close the gap on you, if you see they're about to jump you, you can just cast this, but it knocks them up in the air. But the really cool ability um, about, or the really cool snafu about this ability is that you can use it very offensively as well. If you need to close the gap for whatever reason, you need to pill your teammates or what have you, you can cast this. And because it's slow moving and flame, you can actually stand inside this. So if someone is trying to jump on you, they're going to leap into this and get knocked up and then you can hit them with uh, another knockup combo and such. Um, but one thing to note about it though, is there are there are some keyframes at which you can still be CC during this if they time their dashes really, really well. Um, that's a video for another day, but uh, I've, I've been watching a lot of the pros and a lot of the interviews and it, they showcase how you can easily get through this hitbox animation but that's that, that's for some super high tier gameplay which we're obviously not gonna be covering in this video um next is uh your inferno uh, i actually forget what i had set up for inferno give me one second here so uh inferno you will want to run uh 213 i forgot to uh slot it for uh this uh, presentation but essentially this is a knock up so there's three different types of stuns in a lost arc so you have staggering abilities like, like soft staggers and then you have knockups and then you have hard cc's uh, such as squall so this is it just use kind of like a knock up it's very quick animation and then this aoe is actually very very deceptive it is really really huge it's a very quick cast animation so we'll cast it over here even though the flames doesn't look like it's going to hit him it it does you can cast this even further out and still be able to uh, to clip the scarecrow over here. See, like, it's actually very wide AOE, very hard to see coming. It's not very well telegraphed, and this is used to pill your your teammates very very efficiently. And that's another thing you guys need to keep in mind that you do have a lot of pill abilities uh, to use. So please pay attention to your teammates when they're getting juggled. Uh, so last but not least is reverse gravity. This is again to keep the melee people off of you. It does actually have two instances of knock up. So you have the initial cast. And then toward the tail end of it, it actually explodes again, knocking them up. Now, while this seems like a very defensive spell, nine times out of 10, it is defensive, but you can also use it offensively as well. So uh, let me, for example, if you need to appeal your teammates, you can just dash in F, get off your full combo, whatever you gotta do. Um, and then you can potentially X out, right? So that is a very, very risky play to do. But if you see your 
teammates getting gone on and you don't have any other way to pill them and that's kind of the only option you're left with at the time so again it is offensive and defensive in nature if you think you're gonna get gone on just drop it the initial lift doesn't cc whoever's gonna go on you the secondary explosion will last but not least is your v i mean there's, there's really nothing to talk about besides this you just go in pop your old uh it does a lot of damage uh, pulls people in does more damage again and yeah, it looks really cool and uh, five minute cooldown. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, so this has been the rundown of the quote unquote Korea meta build that is currently in circulation. Now, whether or not this will be the build for Europe and US, um, who knows? Um, it'll probably take a month, three weeks. I don't know how long it's going to take for people to get to a super high level. I'm sure the Korean people who are playing on their servers will come over and show us guys what's up. But who knows? A new meta may develop. Uh, new balance patches may come out uh, who knows but this has been a very quick rundown on the sorceress and all her skills and typically how you want to use them in arenas if i left out anything or you found anything in this video helpful at all i would really appreciate a like and sub it would really go a long way and please hit the bell notification icon if you want to be notified for any other content i put out there of lost art so thank you guys for tuning in have a great rest of your day and peace